My name is uh, Chef Jean Vanderville. I am the Culinary and Baking and Pastry Program Director at Serena Technical College. And today I'm going to show you uh, little tips to make a gingerbread house that you will have for Christmas. The first thing you start with uh, a gingerbread house is to find a template. Uh, depends the skills you have, you will find more elaborate than some other. This is semi-elaborate, uh, got uh, a little door, little windows, and, uh, and of course the roof. So when you got your template, like here, you have to cut two, roof two, and the side two. And after that is all about decoration. When you assemble all the, the components, all you need after that is a base. Uh, this is fairly large. When you take a larger base, that means you can put more things all around. So, the next thing you're gonna need is royal icing. The royal icing is gonna act as uh, glue or cement, okay? So you want to make this royal icing relatively stiff. And then you're gonna ta start to get your pieces and do the piping. I pipe at the base first. And this is the time you're gonna ask the kids to come and help you so everybody can hold it. So now, on the board, I, buy, I pipe the straight line as well. And then from the inside. And you're going to hold it a little bit. You place your side. So you start building. Just like that. And then we're gonna put the last one here. And that will be the front of the house. There we go. At the base here now, just reinforce a little bit so nothing will really move. So I'm doing a little bit of piping just at the base, at the join. When you finish with this, you got your four basic wall done. My recommendation is, well, you're gonna take a big break and let it set for about two hours to allow the royal icing to set before you attend to put the roof on the, on the house. And this is how it's done. <laughs> 